a nonprofit organization right here in San Antonio helping people infected with HIV and AIDS, celebrating 30 years of serving San Antonio. GMSA at 9's Tiffany Huerta speaks with one woman who has overcome obstacles and is now sharing her story, hoping it will help someone like her. It was like a shell, like a hermit crab shell. You just want to be hidden or whatnot because I didn't understand HIV. In 2012, Amanda Soto's life turned upside down. I was infected. While dealing with HIV, she also lived with multiple sclerosis. It messes with my walking ability, but I wake up each morning with a blessed and a thank you to God. After finding herself lost, she was referred to this facility, Newly Empowered Women, where they helped her move on with her life. I'm very proud of her. I'm proud of the fact that this program was able to make a difference in her life. Executive Director of Beat AIDS, Michelle Durham, says this is one of several programs they have. At this facility, they provide several services, including meditation, treatment classes, and peer support. Turns out HIV does not discriminate, not by age, gender, race, Many women who come to this facility are referred or walk-ins suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, sexual abuse or neglect. Soto says she continues to work improving her life every day. And even in the darkest hour, without the help of this team, Soto says she would have never made it. There's so much support out there for women or men who have this. You know, it's not what we asked for, it's just how we live it. And Tiffany joins us now in the studio. Now, Tiffany, uh, the woman in your story uh, kind of says there are misconceptions out there. What do people need to know? Well, exactly. There's a lot of misleading information out there. One in seven people living with HIV, those people don't even know they have it. People think that you can get it by hugging, drinking someone's glass of water. That's, that's incorrect. It's specific fluids. That's how it's transmitted. And people that don't know they have it, some people might want to get tested, but some people might fear it costs too much to get tested. So can they get it cheap and can they get it several different places? Yeah, they actually can get it at this facility that we just talked mm -hmm. about. It's free of charge. Um, they just have to go there and just tell them their situation and it's all confidential, which is great. You can also get it at different clinics, healthcare provider offices, different outlets. But if you want more information, you can go to beataids.org. And got to hand it to her. I mean, that, that takes some guts to come out and, and talk about this in public on TV. Yeah, definitely. She just really wanted to share her story and hopefully someone, you know, feels her connection and then can get help as well. All right, Tiffany, thank you very much. Appreciate it.